Okay, this is a video I did uh, years ago uh, when I used to work with Bobby Horn. Uh, I worked with him for a little while. I uh, had a couple years. Uh, coached him to a national title with a couple 11-10 tiebreakers. And uh, so he's hitting a drive serve here. And uh, I want to just show you some of the stuff I look at. All right. I'm in the back talking to him, and what we're looking at is how is he hitting the ball? Boom, right? Now, I don't like this, and I don't like this because he's not getting his lower body behind the ball. So we're going to make a little bit of an adjustment going forward on this, and then eventually uh, young Bobby will start using his lower body more. You got to remember that every athlete we work with has different abilities and different skills. And Bobby is an excellent athlete, covers the court really, really well. And so uh, with him, what we're trying to do is really not create as much power as create accuracy and creating accuracy and creating angles. That's the whole idea of this whole thing. Without giving away the secret sauce, I'm always kind of paranoid about what I do and how I do it. Uh, the last thing I want to do is, uh, I don't want to, I, I don't want to disparage an athlete. Uh, and I don't want to, um, I don't want to take too much credit for an athlete's um, accomplishments. But now you see the serve is starting to kick in just over the line. And the serve is where we want it to be. And if you're not practicing perfect serves, you're not practicing serves right. Um, if your serve comes up a little short, like his serve is, that's not bad because you got a second serve. And if you have an excellent second serve, which, you know, Bobby Horn has an excellent second serve, did have and still does have. So if it's short, that's not a big deal to him. So that's kind of what we're working on without getting in too much into specifics. I will say using the lower body more, and uh, that's where it's at. 